Mi nombre es David Duenas. Mi compa se llama Gabriel Montoya de Max Boxing. My first question is going to be to him is that let's talk a little bit about his career leading into the Shane Mosley fight. Uh, a lot of people have considered him a rock star. And being that said, that he's been treated like a rock star, that some of the fights that he's been given are kind of rock star-ish, and that's why he hasn't been tested the way he should have been. No, bueno, estoy muy contento. La verdad que es de la capacidad de Sugar Shane Mosley. Eh, estoy muy contento de, de pelear con él. Para mí es un honor pelear con una leyenda y pues obviamente muy agradecido con toda la gente que siempre está apoyándome, que siempre está detrás de mi de mis peleas apoyando y, y pues yo siempre me preparo muy bien para darle a la gente lo que espera y y, y que salga contenta de ahí. Well, he said he's, he's very happy to, to um be able to fight uh, Sugar Shane. He he uh, thinks of him as, as a legend, and he's also very thankful to his fans who support him, and he's training very hard for this fight. I want to talk to him a little bit that how Shane Mosley hasn't lost to a to a Mexican fighter. What are his thoughts about that, and um, does it add any pressure? I mean, does he just have to beat him, or does he have to knock him out to make a statement, especially because of the fact that Shane has been so successful against Mexican fighters. No, para mí no es ninguna depresión. Yo no voy con ninguna presión de nada. Yo voy a hacer mi trabajo arriba del ring. Voy a hacer lo que mejor sé hacer. Eh, obviamente para eso me estoy preparando. Y pues eh, estoy muy motivado. Más que presiones, es una motivación extra para mí. Y por eso estoy trabajando muy duro. Um, he says no, there's no pressure going into the fight. He's, uh, he's just going to do the work in the ring and do what he does best, and he's preparing very well, and if anything, he said he's, he's motivated for it. Looking at your fights, you, you, the last time you just knocked someone cold out uh, was Carlos Baldemir in 2010. Uh, then you had three fights where you went the distance, and you stopped uh, Ryan Rhodes in the 12th round, and then you've, you've, you've stopped your last two guys, uh, and uh, Gomez and Cintron. Uh, what is it that you've learned over the course of all these fights, fighting these veterans, Fighters with, with much experience. Yo he aprendido muchas cosas durante estas peleas. He aprendido bastante, gracias a Dios. Me gusta aprender, ver los videos eh, de las peleas anteriores y he aprendido muchas cosas. Creo que lo voy a desarrollar arriba del ring y pues lo van a ver ahí, ¿no? He said he's, he's learned a, a lot of new things. He, he watches a lot of videos and uh, watches his fights and he said it's, it's definitely going to show inside the ring. There's some criticism, and I almost kind of agreed with this. I wanted to see the fights play out until a real, just straight knockout. Uh, in the Gomez and the Cintron fights, people thought that they were stopped too soon. For you as a fighter, uh, I know you want a clean ending. Uh, were they stopped too soon? Así es. Yo, yo siempre quiero que, que me los dejen, ¿no? Para, para, para quedar contento bien, pero pues no es mi trabajo, es el trabajo del ring. Es su trabajo del refer y yo hago mi trabajo y él hace el suyo y pues, ¿qué puedo hacer, no? Siempre me quedo con las ganas de dar más, de hacer las cosas bien como se debe de ser, pero pues simplemente los referees cuidan a los peleadores y así se tiene que ser, ¿no? Pues no, no es como antes ya ahora, entonces, pues ellos hacen su trabajo y nosotros hacemos el nuestro. He said he's, uh, he's definitely, um, you know, he wants them the way he put it, he's like, yeah, I want them, I want to finish them. Um, but that he's, you know, he he was happy with the with the win. He said that the ref does his job, he, and he has his own job. He said nowadays he believes that the refs take care of the fighters, and uh, you know he's not going to criticize the ref. They, like like he said, uh, the ref is there to do the job and protect the fighters, and he's going to do it. What's the difference for him as a fighter, from a mental point of view uh, or physical, uh, between like catching Carlos Baldwin with a left hook just knocks him cold? Uh, or tracking down Ryan Rhodes over 12 rounds and beating him down until the ref waves it off in the last round. Bueno, pues obviamente siempre las peleas que se que se que se van a distancia pues siempre te enseñan más, ¿no? Siempre toman más experiencia. Pero pues cada peleador es diferente, su estilo de cada peleador es diferente, unos se dificultan más, unos menos. Entonces uno hace su trabajo lo mejor que se puede y y pues arriba del ring ya las cosas salen solas. He said, you know, he believes that the fights that go the distance uh, teach him a lot more. He gets more experience from that. And, you know, he understands that, that styles are different and and, uh, and that he just does the best job he can do inside the ring and, and see how things play out. 
He's become a really big figure in Mexico and is now, now starting to leak over here in the States. How has he been – how has he handled the criticism that he's received, you know, not just so much the praising. You know, we all love the praise, but what about the criticism? What does he do about that? No, bueno, la crítica siempre va a haber. Uno se tiene que hacer la idea de crítica siempre va a haber. Simplemente uno hacer su trabajo y, y demostrar arriba del link que es lo importante. He said, you know, there's always going to be critics, um, but as long as you do your job in, inside the ring and show them and prove them wrong, that uh, everything will be good. So, okay, speaking of critics, I've been very critical about you getting tagged so much with right hands. Uh, what are you going to do against a guy that that's his money punch is a right hand? If Shane Mosley hits you with that right hand, there's a strong possibility he'll either wobble you or stop you. So is that something that you guys have attempted to correct in your camp? Bueno, estamos trabajando mucho en eso. Nosotros sabemos lo que la calidad de molde, sabemos lo que lo que sabe hacer. Entonces estamos trabajando en todo ese uh, en todos esos aspectos. Y, y pues no no nos vamos a descuidar en ningún round porque sabemos que que Mosley es un peleador que que es rápido y que pega fuerte y con la derecha es es la más fuerte. He said that um that, that they're aware of that that issue and that they're working on that um and uh, you know his plan is not to get careless in, inside the ring. He knows that Mosley hits hard and that the right hand is is probably his best weapon. Let's break down Mosley. Um, you look at Pacquiao just fought him, Mayweather fought him, they couldn't stop him. Pacquiao dropped him, but he didn't didn't finish him. To be part of that elite, the pound for pound or the top level, the pay per view guys, does he have to knock Mosley out? I know you don't you don't go in trying for the knockout; you just box and it maybe happen. But does he want that? I mean, he and does he agree that he needs to do that in order to say I belong in the conversation? No, obviamente, pues un knockout siempre es espectacular y un gran triunfo, ¿no? Pero no voy enfocado, no voy con la mentalidad de no quiero, porque tú sabes que hay veces que, que vas con la mentalidad de no quiero y no haces las cosas como tienes planeados hacerlas. Entonces, voy a ir a hacer mi trabajo y si se me da el knockout, va a ser mi preparación y, y todo ese tipo de cosas, pues lo voy a lo voy a aprovechar y si no, pues estaré listo para para todo. He, um, he agrees, he said it, it would be a, a great win if he, he was able to do that, um, but he's not really focused on, on just going for the for the knockout. He see the, he says if it comes then great. Um but um you know he's just gonna see how the fight plays out. How does he feel uh, he's changed as or grown as a fighter coming into this? What every every fight seems to be a test, uh, and a different test, the way Golden Boy has structured his career. Uh what is the test here? Is is it to stop him? Is it just to show that he can hang with a Hall of Famer? How does he envision this fight and what it means to him? No, significa mucho, esta pelea significa mucho para mí, y pues obviamente arriba del ring tú tienes planeado muchas cosas y al final salen diferentes, ¿no? Voy preparado para todo, esta va a ser una gran gran prueba para mí, me va a hacer tomar mucha experiencia, madurar más como boxeador eh, en estos niveles, y pues me siento me siento muy contento y, y, y motivado de, de pelear con un peleador como Mosley, porque sé que voy a aprender muchas cosas de ahí. Um, you know, he he says that he you know he has matured and he continues maturing. Um, in a fight with Mosley, uh, in beating a guy like Mosley would, would teach him definitely a lot more things. He's uh, he's very motivated for uh, with the fight, and uh, he's just very happy to and honored to be uh, be able to fight Mosley. Pues gracias mucho a uh, Saúl para tenerle tiempo para hablar con nosotros aquí en Living in Ring. Mi nombre es David Oenes con Gabriel Montoya y uh, George Jimenez. Um, otra vez, gracias a usted y Eri para tener el tiempo para hablar. Gracias a ustedes y es un gusto tener su programa. Gracias.